change into our spooky stuff with some surviving Halloween. <laughs> Show you right. Part three. Part three. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, survive. Read the, <clears throat> read the title. Really? So I tried this survival game. Oh, gosh. But yes, we're going to be getting into Surviving Halloween Part 3. How you guys feeling after last week? Last week was Scared. stressful. Mm -hmm. Scared? It was Scared. stressful making those decisions. <clears throat> Y'all gonna have to communicate pretty well between the two of you. And now, uh, Ronnell, you ain't here. Because you got to go pretty quick without Ronnell. I know. Yeah, this this version of uh, Michael that you're going up against this week is going to be kind of crazy because now you got the Rob Zombie reboot. Yeah. Michael Myers. Yes, yes. Um, this is a really interesting um, scenario for Michael mm -hmm. specifically um, because where John Carpenter kind of looked at Michael and wanted him to be more like mysterious um how should I put it Rob Zombie really wanted him to be more psychotic yep um, yeah amped it up yeah a um, lot it's really interesting because his vision for what Michael is or was is a little bit more intense mm -hmm. like in every single sort of fashion where uh, John Comforter is, is more like like alluded to as scary mm -hmm. like it's like you don't know much about him or why he's doing it with Michael you can figure out pretty much everything in Rob Zombies but I mean like he gone <laughs> there ain't no no reasoning no real yeah. logic behind it he's I just imagine. he is the way that he is yep. like this is a dude that could actually exist <laughs> yes yeah um, so you know However y'all feel about that, um, except when you get into uh, Halloween 2, because then it kind of gets supernatural out of nowhere. Yep. Um, Rob Zombie had an idea for how he wanted these movies to be, um, and he wanted to make two movies, but the Weinsteins didn't like how, yeah, how, he, how he was trying to break it up, for it. So. Um, so they forced him to combine his two movies into one mm -hmm. and that's the first one mm -hmm. which is why the second one feels so different mm -hmm. <laughs> completely different like it it almost feels like they took another horror icon and put it into a movie and Dang. then just said he looks like michael myers Dang. right now mm -hmm. yep. um, all right okay and then because this is also the offshoot one we're gonna also show you guys some of season of the witch which is the only halloween movie it doesn't have michael yeah <laughs> It doesn't have Michael Myers? At all. Yeah, no. They were, they were trying something course. different. Yep. And interesting. Yeah. Without Michael, how is that interesting? Hey, they tried it. Mm. It's interesting that they... That, that they tried it. They tried it. Mm. And I'm interested to see what they could accomplish without him. Okay. And, and nowadays, they consider it a cult classic. They, the the sheep will sure do. Sheep. The, sheep. the sheep will sure do. Because that movie is trash, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna show it to y'all just so you can see where we went through with Halloween. Yes. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready on our end, and then when you're set, Krista, we can check out the first trailer for Halloween 2007. Okay. Yeah. And I'm ready. Yep. Because we're ready on our end. All right, I'm hitting the button. All right. Push the button. I've never seen any of the trailers for this. Right there in that corner.
kill count in these movies was more than what they did. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I can't believe the monster had these movies in charge. Not cases come out of the movie. I will say that like this the is the though. scariest yeah. mask. Why are you so obsessed with the boogeyman, Tony? Yeah. If it's real, I'm going to go to This movie is also interesting because the theatrical and the director's cut have two very different interpretations of the main character. Okay. Second one. Yeah, this is Rob Zombie's second one. Mm. It's weird. Yeah, that one was weird. Made you feel a little naive, didn't it? Yeah, this is weird. Well, it just feels disjointed, that's all. This, this one. This one don't have him in it at all, huh? Yeah. Um, but hey, there. I, I guess you could say there's a cult in this one. Oh, nothing else. That's probably the coolest image in this movie. <laughs> Different standards back then. They did. And the dead might be long here. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red. Now we 
this is not know anything about this Cochrane? This doesn't have anything to do with Michael Myers. You, no. Watch out. It's, yeah. it's just Halloween. It's just yeah. Halloween the day. <laughs> yes. Hey, Mr. Cochrane, just what is <laughs> it's the not Halloween. Michael exists in this universe. No, no. It's a part of the. Fr it's in this franchise, but it does not have anything to do with Michael. But why? Huh? Why? So They're for this one. Um, in the war, the city is not the same town. What the no. heck? <laughs> <laughs> that was just off because so it's like a, a laser come out of her mouth. Yes. Yeah. What? Yes. yes. That, that is a part of this movie. Why? <laughs> well, you see, they decided after Halloween 2 that they wanted to try and explore more crazy and scary concepts for Halloween. The night of Halloween. Season of the witch. Yeah. Tonight, no they didn't have to even like associate it with just Michael so Myers or anything. That was uh, just I mean, they didn't. But they, like, they so did. Weird. They could. But it. They, but, you're right. They didn't need to. <sighs> ah, my brain. <laughs> I don't want to. Why did you make us sit through that last one? Right? Hey, look. Like, I could have done just, without it in my life. So could have done without it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But it added so much. You needed to understand frustration. where I we came from. Nothing. The frustration and pain we had to go through in that movie. I, I understand nothing about that trailer. And nothing why would you in relation watch it? to the movie. Nothing at all. So hey, hey, they made I'm it still a part as clueless as I was me. before I watched it. That's yeah, not the, why I would watch it. Yeah, to cleanse that power. Now they, now they, not, like, it's not they misled you. Convoluted. I can see them misleading you to think that it has Michael in it. Oh yeah, no, they. I, I, they kind of did because like Halloween plays as a movie in this universe somewhere yep. down the line. Somewhere. So they almost. Somewhere. It, nowhere mentioned. Yeah. I, just, uh. I remember there's like a, I think it's the last shot of the movie where it's like it's on a TV and the original Halloween is playing on the TV. That's it. All that movie for that. That's or, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah, um, basically. All right, I don't want to think about that anymore. Let's go ahead and get onto the game because yeah. I can't. <laughs> The what trailer. Is the time you wanted mm -hmm. to start them out with? Mm -hmm. They start with four minutes. I'm pretty sure. Four minutes, okay. Yeah, and then each round it goes lesser and lesser. Y'all also have 45 seconds. For what? To, um, for to give your answer to the question. Okay. Yes. Mm. Uh, or after we get through. All right. So we have four minutes to start to create the question and then 40 45 seconds when after Earl asks his question to you to answer yeah okay. okay so I'll be asking the question after they come up with their question that we assist them with um after they get their three questions their three questions yes okay okay is it three yes I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna cheat y'all out of okay I mean unless y'all think that you want to you know if you want the handicap do we want the handicap crisp on? Do we want three questions or do you want two? We were doing one question per person, so I think we should only have two. Okay. We'll oh, do okay. the handicap. Okay. Oh, sookie. To make it fair. Okay. All right. Since Monel's not here. That's fine. Dang you, Monel. No. Hope you're feeling better. I was about better. to say, blame him. <laughs> Dang, I felt that pain in that statement. <laughs> <laughs> the one time to not be here for the book. No, and then one I said, hope the... you feel better. Yes, we do hope you feel better, Von Hell. Mm -hmm. Make sure you ice and you follow the directions. You don't know what's wrong with him. He don't know what's wrong with him yet. <laughs> he don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> That's probably a fair assessment. <laughs> yes. This is why I made notes. Mm -hmm. I know you did. You were prepping. You were prepping, mm -hmm. sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Two questions. Yep, I agree with both of those. Okay. All right. So this time around, things are kind of going back to the original Halloween's. 
Um, except this time around, Michael is just a straight serial killer. Okay. Um, Out of his mind. Yeah, y'all, in this version of Halloween, you get to see more of him as a child. Mm. Yes. And he's he's going down the path. <laughs> like, yes. over here practicing stabbing on animals yeah. and, like, taking pictures of them and, like, going out his wearing a clown, clown mask. Okay. Yep. Like, that bo- the boy is disturbed. Yes. Okay. So when he attacks down his sister, down with the sickness. Gotcha. <laughs> down yeah. with the sickness. Yeah, when he attacks his sister, it's dang near no surprise. Yep. Okay. Stabbed um, her seventeen times. Yep. Yeah. His mom's a stripper. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it was his stepdad. Or something. Yeah, it was yep. his stepdad. Duck Don't take like him. To the chair, slit his throat. Uh, the boyfriend that was with his sister just bashed his head in with a baseball bat. Okay. Yeah. This is all as a child. All as a child. Right, right, right. This is what got him committed in the first place. Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And okay. then after he got committed, he went silent for 15 years after starting to talk to Loomis. Yep. Um, yeah, and now it's 15 years later. Can't have this one. Um, he manages to break out of jail because two of the orderlies attempt to rape one of the other orderlies in his room. <laughs> I they were and he escaped. Him. No, they were the people were moving, him, but they escaped because they're trying to do something to her in the room. Bro, and they don't realize he's still in there. Wrong room, bro. Okay. Because that's when we get the scene for whatever reason in this one that he fools around with the girl, and I'm just like, you don't need to add this in for Michael. He don't need to do none of this. But he he's out the box. Out the box. In that form too. So you know, he don't just gotta kill people. He he gotta get he gotta get his kicks in. Gotcha. So he is just on a rampage. He doesn't have an agenda. Doesn't have anyone specifically he wants to target. He's um, he's still there. going after his younger sister. Younger sister. Okay. okay. Um, but it's not like I would say that this Michael it doesn't really have like a set plan. I mean, you can kind of make the argument that because of two there's a plan in mind yeah but like i i can't really explain the plot of two to y'all because it's just gonna be weird well i guess they they come hand in hand so like the spirit of his mom mm-hmm. oh, is that what that was is like yeah. it's like compelling a... him to do this do you mean the chicken but, white yeah, mm-hmm. bro. What? But it's, yeah, right. But it's also <laughs> like not his mom. What? At the same time, yeah. because like, he sees his. He doesn't. He kill his mom in the first one. No, yeah. she she shoots herself. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Because um, when she went to, when she checked on him again after the situation where he stabbed the the nurse and where he was when he was younger, mm-hmm. there was a whole flip out from there in which going back and stuff she just was looking at um a home video of her and the son and she had a gun while her daughter was somewhere in the room and then just took her life from it and then it just pans to then 15 years later mm-hmm. from that okay yeah but so, i guess you could i guess you could make the argument based off the second one that the spirit of the mom compels him to act the way that he acts. Oh, it's so weird. Okay. And they're trying to reunite their family in this weird, ethereal, dark spirit. Yes. Whatever. It's so stupid. I so, guess. Okay. Yeah, because. But I don't really know how much that because she's not in the first one at all. Right. I don't really know how much that's gonna help y'all out, but I guess well, it's a thing back there that there's some supernatural force at play in this but uh michael's a monster and he allegedly raped people there you go that's it allegedly 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 allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. it's what raped, raped people. people damn I ain't even... <laughs> who signed off on this craziness what? this is rob zombie, rob zombie. I, because I he wanted I, I michael to be more real i don't yep. remember him raping anybody that's the that's which is why thing. i said allegedly because it's implied that he does, he does it, it. But you don't ever actually see him do it. Right. Oh. Um, you could you could make the argument that he's killing someone because it's like an off screen thing where he's like grunting. But 
the way that Rob Zombie talks about that scene is that he's also, this is like, he talks about that scene as if it's Michael's first time, which he kills as a child, so you know he's not talking about killing. So that's the only way that I can interpret it as, but allegedly. I will never watch any of these films. I can see more of his grunts and stuff when he's like stabbing something. Yeah, no, he makes makes sounds and stuff. No, he makes sounds and stuff in general in this movie. I I, I like the Rob Zombie ones because they're scarier. Yeah. All right, well, no, let's he's, see. He's more of a monster in this one. Well, let's That's see if we can survive basic. this crazy, insane Rob Zombie horror show of Yeah. All right, Halloween so Earl's going to be in charge yeah. of the questions this time around. All right. I'm going to keep track of all the stuff for y'all. Um, you be out four minutes on the clock for your first round. Okay. All right, so they're going to yep. have their questions, and then I'm just going to tie in what's their you're, you're gonna answer their questions okay and then after they get through both of their questions then you get to ask them one and then they'll have 45 seconds to decide where we're going yeah what and they'll have going, to give you an answer how we survive and then you'll say whether or not um that answer would either lead them to michael or lead them away from michael that's essentially how you have to look at it okay um, all, right. all right so you ready yes so we have our four minutes on the clock, starting now. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to do our two questions. Okay. Where are we? The first question. Yes, where are we? to y'all remember the first Halloween right okay we're doing we're doing this Halloween so right it's kind of the, it's basically kind of the same thing that yeah, they start off similar they okay. start off similar overall there's like on Halloween night we're over at his, his friend's house yep they're babysitting mm-hmm. and there's a party across the street and we got it they we had to decide whether or not we want to go there okay that kind of thing is that what you're talking about yes and where's Michael at so because yeah. that's he's part of everybody right so yeah where where are we and where yeah where's michael y'all are in to where y'all are in high school mm-hmm. and y'all basically encounter Lori and her friends after school to do a hangout okay the situation is Lori ends up having to babysit the kids mm-hmm. and you have the choice of going with her friend to meet up with someone or to be with Lori babysitting okay. to work on homework. So like the first round that we did in the mm-hmm. first yes. game. Okay. Yeah, and then um, Michael has already broken out at this point. Yes. Um, and he's basically he got himself a jumpsuit and drove the Haddonfield. Okay. Yeah. So, but unlike the first one where you could say that he's like trying to cut people off mm-hmm. from Lori, this one is a lot more sporadic. Right. Um, he's just killing everybody and everybody. Yeah, like he kind of just like sight. moves through um, people in this right. one. So, so the mo- at best we could probably say he's in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, 
probably waiting to pounce on whatever person is uh, unlucky yeah. enough to be on their own tonight. Okay. Next. Okay. Um, also, Loomis is out there doing something in the first one in this one. Okay. Yeah, Loomis, Loomis, is, looking Loomis is looking for Michael mm -hmm. so at that point in time. Michael is on his way or he's already He's already in, he's the, already neighborhood. in the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, so like the first one, he's already in the neighborhood. Yeah. And we have to decide whether we're, we're at... Well, yeah, pretty much. Probably. Babysitting we, or yeah. at the party. Okay, and yeah. then our second question is... Uh, what are Michael's abilities? Yes. Michael, basically through childhood, he had just had a knack for just wrecking things to the point where he killed his, murdered his pet. Uh, a kid was bullying him at school about his mom being a stripper and his sister caught him in the woods after school, beat him up with a tree branch. But what is his abilities? Like, is it strong? Is it he just invincible? Like what he exactly? He through walls. He's basically a brute force okay. in which he's very strong. I think he moves a little bit faster. He's fast. So he has speed. He, but not like not like to he, not like superhuman super speed, speed, but he like, has game speed. So when the like a football player. He, oh, game gosh. speed to the point where when he sees it and goes for it. He goes and gets it. So it's not like that slow walking. Yeah. No. When Death. he sees it, he sees red. Yeah. And mm -hmm. attacks the target. All right. So yeah. he has speed and. Um, uh, he's very good at creep walking. So creep walking. He so can he sneak up on you. Sneak up too. on you for his size. Mm -hmm. And then, I would say the only power really, is that the the mom ghost spirit thing, like can tell him things. Mm -hmm. So. Clairvoyant, in that way. I. I would say it's schizophrenic. I don't. I don't know if you can call her clairvoyant. It's more like that because she tells him things that think like he wouldn't know about the situation. Right. Oh, if that makes like, but not like her seeing the future. It's like if you're hiding in the room, she can point out uh, where you are. Uh, that's, uh, so she's she's actually look, look. there. It's not him thinking that she's there. Well, you know, I don't, they don't just, they don't they describe don't that for us. In no, the movie. Not at all. Oh, but okay, because I'm thinking I, it's like something like schizophrenic. Or something. That's how it kind of yeah. looks. Yeah. Okay. But there are points in the movie where the thing interacts with other stuff. It's inconsistent. Okay. And but you can't like the only people who see it are Michael and Lori. Oh. So if you think that Lori's going crazy, then you have to say that it's just like a thing. But how are they seeing the same thing then? Right. And there's a point where like the thing starts like whipping her so that it can make her submit to it and it like passes on to her in the second movie. So it's just like if you if you think she's going crazy, then you have to accept that. If you think I that it's supernatural, like you have to believe that it's going. To this plot of this yeah. movie, Lord. Okay. Yeah, so right. I would to be safe, I would say that it's an actual ghost. That's possessing him. An actual entity. Okay. Yeah, I personally believe that because there ain't no way that he got as much instruction and it turned out to be right, unless he's just like this smart in the background. Bro. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right then. Yeah, he's he's got the support of of a mother. Okay. Mother. Mother's ghost. So, so yes. uh, what is the question for us then? Now that we have the abilities. Okay. In the time where you you have a choice between either sticking with Lori to babysit mm -hmm. or you end up with her friend Linda or Danny. Okay. In which Danny was supposed to go there, but something came up. Right. So your decision is, would you stick with Lori where she is babysitting, working on homework, or going with Danny to meet up with Linda. Okay. And we have 45 seconds to answer. Yep, you will have 45 seconds starting now. Okay. I say we stay with Lori. I say we stay with Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that was five seconds. Yeah. Alright, so let okay, them know your answer. No. And then 
JT, you tell me if they got closer to Michael <coughs> or closer to freedom. All right, what's your answer? We, we said stay, stay with Lori. We stay with Lori. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what you end up doing, you have extra time because Linda gets taken out, and then Danny supposedly gets attacked, but Lori checks on Danny. So they narrowly avoid. You narrowly their, avoid him. Okay. Their encounter, their first encounter with Michael. All right, yay, we survived mm-hmm. this first horrible encounter. Yeah, so where does that lead them from there after um, Lori goes to check on Danny? After that, Michael basically finds her, mm-hmm. and then they're fighting back and forth to the point where Michael ends up taking her to his his home. Mm-hmm. And basically, from it, he just basically is on his knees to Lori. Like, and basically, she ends up taking the knife, stabbing him. And after that point, because I don't think his premise goal was to kill her. Kill her. Mm. Because in this movie, it seemed like she, he, just he her. cared. He, he cared for his sister. Mm. It seemed like he didn't want to hurt her, but mm. through her panic and everything, yeah. she stabs him. If you're and, hurting everybody else. So and then just... everything else goes red. They are, starts attacking. They're looking, chasing after, and then pretty much they end up outside. She, Loomis encounters them, mm-hmm. shoots him, but it staggers him mm-hmm. to the point where she gets a hold of a gun and shoots it blood everywhere freaks out so long story short pants to the next movie she runs into the sheriff the father of Danny okay after they Big make skin. sure she yeah. make sure she's good she's bloodied up then you see the hospital oh that was the trailer that we saw okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in the hospital hey how far did we go from there man well it was it was pretty it was, was pretty say, you explained the whole thing in the first movie <laughs> So you want them to do more of the second movie? Yeah, tie okay. more to the second one. All right, so then get your second question ready, and y'all about to go and see your second round of questions then. Oh, yeah. This time you got three minutes so on the clock. the hospital? Is yeah. that where it where ended up at? Well, is, is that going to be one of your questions? He, I'm just, he, he just said. You didn't. Yeah, yeah, all right, so uh, yeah, you can answer that one. <laughs> okay. So we're done with the first movie. We're now in the second movie. You're in the yeah. second movie, yes. Setting is the hospital. Okay. But I'm I'm cause it's only two of
they're not paying attention. The, the van crashes into a cow. Uh, the driver gets effed up. I'm oh, oh, sorry, what? Yeah, you know, these things happen in these movies because yeah, you have it, to. Uh, it, it was a curveball <laughs> on what happened with that. A Mike, cow? Cows are strong. <laughs> they eat their grass. Excuse me? <laughs> but in the situation... Oh, so Michael was, was supposedly dead. Right, so, so he, he, dead. he wakes up out of... The state he's in gets out of the van, kills the other guy, cuts his head off. He follows that mother spirit <laughs> to the town of Haddonfield. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't drive, he walks. Okay. So he gets to Haddonfield, but he ends up at a farm. And apparently, these three farmers get taken out by him. Okay. He's making his way to town. Okay. So he's near a strip club in town, mm-hmm. encounters a person, kills that person, mm-hmm. then kills the two other people. So over time, he's killed about six, seven people. Okay, yeah. so at this point, we don't need to know what his, like, what led him from one point A to point B. Where is he specifically? Where is he now? He in is in town. Yeah. That's a, specifically where <laughs> is he in the hospital is he down the street in the hospital is he like since we know that that we are in, in the house with Lori at the sheriff's house where is Michael in relation to the vicinity of where we are he's in the woods okay close close to the house not close to the house again it, this this um so to be clear this one is a lot harder to say where Michael was because he literally just shows up places. Okay. There's no... Um, him telling you about the strip club is probably, like, the closest thing that y'all would get. Okay. Because his mom used to work at that strip club. Right, right, Like, right. that's the only sense of, like, like logic okay. in how he goes because he literally just goes from place to place killing people. Okay. And then happens to end up in the same place as Lori. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Again... Wild. <laughs> supernatural creature kind of leading him but it's so wild. it depends on how you look at it because some people in the movie think that Lori's the crazy one in this movie so wow. okay because <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of this movie was supposed to be whether or not it was in Lori's head or not a lot of people thought that she was the one that snapped after she killed Michael uh... and so the movie tries to play it fast and loose <laughs> But it's just like, as people watching it, you can't really not see it as Michael and this creature. Right. Yeah. But the movie tries to tell you that it's Lori going crazy. crazy. Um, they should have focused more on Lori then. Yeah, they really should have. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, So, him being in town, I think that like he's in the woods, but um, you're not... The woods aren't close to y'all. So because Lori spends a lot of her time in this movie trying to be normal. I got you. Um, and she kind of just like plays off like everybody that was close to her in the other movie, except for y'all in this case. Okay. Like she gets a whole new set of friends. They're into all this other crazy mess. Rock stuff. And there's a party later. Halloween night. Yeah. Okay. All right then. So he's at the strip club, which is closer to us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. While we are at with Lori in the sheriff's house. Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's a good start. All right, then. Okay. Our next question is... Um, well, who is Michael's next victim? Yes. So after the strip club. After strip well, club. After, after the people in the woods and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, yeah, I think that's a free to throw away because they're inconsequential. He's always confused. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, but yeah. it really is like random people. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say let them know who the next like actually like plot. Yeah, like, like plot place. important person is. Plot important, yes. Plot yeah. important. Okay. Um, he ends up. He ends up showing up at the party. Okay. Later that night. Okay. And he his target his target ended up being a boy that was messing around with one of her friends. Okay. And Not Dan. Dan. Oh. 
Danny is Danny's okay. not Danny's not there. She's okay. back at the house. Okay. So basically, um, her dad sends one of his uh, colleagues down there to watch her mm-hmm. because of a situation where Lori found out about Michael um, Loomis's book. Oh, okay. yeah. right. And finding her name in the book, and she just loses her mess. Okay. And her friends go to the party. So who's the most? Who's the plot important person? gets killed next um it's the it's the friend at the party um because he's a friend of Lori. okay um it's just like it's one of their friends i think that because y'all are gonna really want more of like danny and the sheriff but um she's happen. very she's very estranged with them like she really focuses on these other kids uh-huh. but they she's are the a, more important how- yeah that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, <laughs> this spot is wild. Yeah, okay. yeah. She's, she's, it was a lot. She kind of a, she kind of a dick <laughs> in this movie. Yep. Like, and it, I, it's one of those things where it kind of makes sense because it was super traumatic for her, because you know she had someone try to kill her and then she killed somebody. The but goal is somewhere. Else. Like, okay. I mean, she ain't got no one else. That yes. all her family dead. Okay. <laughs> all right then. So. But yeah, it's one of her friends. One, one of her, her friends, close friends. friends. One of her close friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right then. So I guess that then suggests, what's your question for us? The question is, is that do you go to the party with Lori and her friend? Or you stay at the sheriff's house with Dan? Hmm. This is, um, okay, this is a tough one. All right. And your 45 seconds. Uh, now. <laughs> To make a decision. All right, I guess <coughs> we're. Uh... I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here. At the house. Yeah. We gotta go with Lori. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with Lori. Yeah. We'll go with Let's Lori. go with Lori again. We'll go with Lori. You're going with Lori. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. JT, tell them what they've won. You've missed Michael Myers. Oh, thank God. <laughs> because. At that point in time, after he killed the friend, they don't know that their friend is dead. Mm. So, they're y'all having a great time, everything, decide to leave to head back home mm-hmm. there. Can I leave it at that? Or? No, yeah, you can oh. keep going. And unfortunately, by the time they get there, the cop is dead. Okay. And Danny is near death. Okay. Mm-hmm. Again. Okay. But this time she... Dang. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, wow. Poor Danny. And then, yep, they get to the house. They see everything's tore up. See Danny's hurt. And next thing you know, you end up... Her other friend gets taken out. But Lori escapes. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So you're escaping with her currently, yes. but Michael is hot on your heels. Oh, yep. no, go away, Michael. Okay. All right, then. So I guess we need to figure out. Um, I, think it's I guess we need to figure out okay. All right. where. Um, we got two minutes on the clock. Yeah, we're going into. Wait, wait. What's well, about to be your final round of questions? Yes, that was a good one. 
All right. And go. <laughs> Dr. Loomis is still he he's alive in this one. Yes. And he basically comes out with a book mm-hmm. and he's like this famous guy mm-hmm. dealing with the book and knowing the studies of Michael Myers and so on. Mm-hmm. And Clout changes his ass like crazy. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> like he has some money and he he changes Going crazy. his whole living all his all best life. Fame, Cloud man. nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people the type of coffee he wants and all this other mess and how they ain't shit. <laughs> like he ends up on a talk show and he ends up meeting Weird Al <laughs> and so on. Mm-hmm. So overall he encounters seeing a situation dealing with Myers and he goes to figure out what's going on. Where, but where are we going? I'm getting, I'm getting to it. Okay. I'm setting it up. I'm setting it up. Okay. To the point. Michael has took Lori to this abandoned farm. Well, yeah, in, this, well, in this version. In this, ver- in this he's, version. He's chasing y'all. He's, too, he's chasing farm. y'all Dang. into okay. the farm. My question to y'all is... No, no, no we, have, we still have our second they're, question. They're answering their questions. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's chasing y'all to this farm. Okay. All right. So abandoned farm. Yeah. So we end up. So uh, how do we take Michael out? Is our second question. Right to throat. <laughs> how do we take him out? <laughs> Do we need to revise our question? Um, no. I I can answer your question for you, but you ain't gonna like the answer. Oh, uh, I knew we should have asked a different question, but it's okay. Is it? Um, yeah. th- because the only way that I would say for you, like <laughs> truthfully and honestly, you have to trust Lori to take him out for you. Lord, no. Okay. Because she is the only one that he will let get close enough. Okay. Um, 
Because in this one, remember, he's more yeah. trying to he bring his to, family together. Yeah, he just wants to be with Lori. Yeah. So, anybody him. else? Because he's going to take the bullets. He's, he's been stabbed. Yeah. And he keeps on trucking. So, to be honest with you, I really don't think y'all can do anything. But, if you trust your girl, you might be able to make it through. Yes. Okay. That's that's the only way. Okay. So what's your question for us then? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you trust Lori or do you, Loomis? Do you trust Lori or do you trust Doctor Loomis? Yes. God. Trust Lori. I trust Lori. Okay. Y'all ready? We got forty-five seconds on uh, the clock. Okay. Go ahead and press the thing. Trust her to Ooh, take him out. Taken by Michael. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So y'all, that's your final decision. Yes. Alrighty. Unfortunately. We got taken by Michael. Well, yeah. not not necessarily. Cause see, remember in this one, we told you that this thing. Is like possessing Michael, mm-hmm. and he wanted to be with Lori the whole time so they could be reunited as a family, family, right? Oh, I guess we're in the way. Y'all got cornered in, <laughs> in the bar with Lori. Lori. Yep. Tight spaces, deadly threat. Because um, the movie ends with the ghost going on to Lori. Lori. So y'all did manage to survive oh, Michael, Michael, but Lori gonna stab your tail in the back. Yep. Great. That's how our movie. Just, is. We were tricked. He tricked us with, oh, with our question. Oh, gosh. I said, "How do we take Michael out?" He said, "Trust Lori." That's hey, look, a hundred percent. That was the only way because she was the only one that got close enough. Yep. Well, what about Loomis? What happened to him? Oh, well, he got stressed. She gets. She's the one that she that gets. She attacks Loomis, Loomis in the end of the movie. Oh, dang! So we didn't. We didn't end up surviving either way. Well, if y'all had chosen Loomis. We she still would have attacked yeah, Loomis. Loomis because Lori's fate was sealed whenever she went we down. Had some, this. We had cushion. Yeah. We yeah. had cushion. But if she attacked Loomis, does that mean we would have survived? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would have just. <sighs> All right. Well, we died. <laughs> and also, the cops were surrounding the. But that yeah, that kind of just yeah. that kind of just happens. It's not like it's All a planned right. thing. Okay. How do you guys feel about this game y'all created? I think it was fun. Deciding. It's not over. What do you mean it's not over? Yeah, you, got got over we, you got the 2018 the Halloween the Kills and Halloween in Lord Jesus! We the most recent ones now. Oh. Yep. Yes, Malone. Okay. We sure do. One more week of trying to but survive. You know resurrection. What? But this, in, in fairness, or I'm going to let y'all know right now, we're going to give you the easiest out possible. Sure. Yep. We're going to put you in Halloween 2018 and you're going to get G'd up Lori. Yeah, that's the one with the Lori. house. You yep. got the whole she got the house, she got the traps. Weapons and everything. Yes. All you got to do is live. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Yes. All you got to do is live. You have everything possible. I trust crazy Lori, yes. 
Yeah. Hey, look. She ain't crazy. Look. She's prepared. I That's know. Right. Prepared, yeah. Lori. I know. Yeah, matter of fact, you ain't dealing with Lori no more. You're dealing with Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, That's right. right. She <laughs> said, you ain't catching me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. But no, y'all did pretty good. Um, yeah, little, it uh, was... This one was definitely a little trickier than normal because it wasn't in the line to the same setting of the other Halloween movies, but yeah. more on the psychological plus, standpoint. Plus, the script's ridiculous. Yeah. It mm-hmm. makes no sense. <laughs> now, well, he, um, Rob Zombie's thing was, he didn't, which I'm really mad about that was not here because I would have asked his opinion on this oh, yeah, as, a, exactly. as a writer. Yeah, he, but Von, yeah. Um, Rob Zombie intentionally tried to make Michael the opposite of everything he already yeah. was yep. because he didn't want to make a movie that was already out. So that's how you ended up with this version of Michael. Yep. Personally, crazy. I don't particularly like it. No. I feel like it makes him more standard crazy than supernatural. Yeah. But I do see some value in the production of this Michael. I think he's easier to watch in terms of a movie, but I think that he has less going for him overall in terms yeah. of a story. But, yeah, yeah, but his... I, li- I like the him. I like him in the in the first Rob Zombie Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the second one, I didn't see, and I don't think hey, I look, want you to. Could, look, bro. <laughs> you <laughs> could, bro. It's, it's a different movie. It's, it's a different movie, but I just... put it this way. Rob Zombie didn't want to make that movie, and it shows. Yeah. Yep. It he really was contractually shows. obligated. He was contractually obligated to make three of these. Dang. Oh, my But when gosh. they couldn't find a director for the second one, he said, I'll come back and make this movie, but you let me out of contract. You know what? <laughs> he was probably looking for someone, and people hid. Yeah, because he, um, he actually just came out, like, this year. And was on a podcast talking about how horrible the conditions were in the first movie. Mm-hmm. Like, he was stressed out. They kept calling him for rewrites in the middle of it. He was just like... That's like they nothing just, makes sense. They just asked for really bizarre things throughout the entire shooting process. So when the second one came up and no one wanted to hop on it, he was like, oh, me. But let me out. <laughs> That's it. That's good. So he just whipped up something... Yeah, it kind of explains the Kyle mm. situation. So he too. had, and he had three movies, but they wanted them to combine the first two. He only wa- he only wanted two. He was contracted for three. three. They didn't let him make the two movies that he wanted, and so those two movies got combined into one. Crazy. It's, mm. it's a lot of stuff that went wrong. That's messed these up. Movies. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely crazy, ridiculous. Yeah, it's like the second one was more of just. It was like freakish kills to the point where they amped up the dude. Like, there was a point in the movie where near the strip club, the guy tried to, he wouldn't let him out of his way, so he punched him. When he punched him, Michael flipped the dude, and when he hit, brother started bleeding out of nowhere and then got his head mm-hmm. crushed. But it looked like he spine busted him on the ground to the point where he was immobilized. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what strength he was in. <laughs> yeah. But it was just like he didn't put up his knife or anything. Like he just literally just slammed him, yeah. crushed his head. He yeah, he's a monster. In this Brute force. There's like little things that I could see you trying like the whole um oh, his mom was a stripper, and then he went to the strip club that his mom worked at, and that's why he attacks those people there or whatever. That's, like, something that I wouldn't want in a movie, but I get if somebody wrote it into one because I'm just like, okay, if you're trying to make a serial killer, yeah, like, their attachment to certain things mm-hmm. is, it's like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm just like, man, I don't know where we was going. When that ghost came up, bro, Mm-hmm. And we got those 15 minutes of dream sequence. I was like, hey, bro, oh, that's no. crazy. And it was like wherever he was, they were like right there. It was basically mm-hmm. the mom figure and then a younger version of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I still think on paper, the second one would have been good, quote unquote, if they really stuck with the whole, um, we can't tell if this is Lori doing this or if it's Michael. 
Yeah. I think that would have been interesting, but there's just points in the movie where it's just like, there's no question. There ain't no, this little girl ain't doing this mess. <laughs> <laughs> like, dudes getting flipped and, like, thrown up against walls and stuff like that. Unless the ghost of Michael is possessing her already, but, right. like... <laughs> heck no. Heck no. It's like the movie tries to gaslight you into thinking that it's better than <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah, it could be Lori doing this, right? Right? No. Right. Absolutely not. But y'all did pretty well overall. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got two out of three. So I would I would say in general you would survive the situation if it was like you yourselves. You know? I wonder if Monel was here. How would He would have said kill the children already. <laughs> He would have said, he would have said, we are going with Danny. We would have to talk him down. He's like, no, remember what happened last time Danny left the house? He would have just said, sacrifice Lori. He might have actually saved us in the end with the Loomis thing. He might have said it. He might have done it. Might have. Might have in the end. Might have. Yeah. Yeah, that one didn't care. I was about to say, yeah. And also, he probably wanted to, would have wanted to fight Michael, so we might have just gone with him. Yeah, he wanted them to watch them again. He definitely wanted to watch them. Okay. So why do we close this out? But, um, no, it's just overall that y'all did pretty good. And if you guys want to see them survive the final segment of Halloween, which is Halloween 2018, Kills, Kills and Ends, ends. which this is going to be the most fair option y'all get mm. yep because that michael can die and you get the most prep you could have ever had <laughs> <laughs> the best prep mm-hmm. 30 years Out of prep 30 years of prep that's right it's up to y'all to take it up to us yeah because mm-hmm. no, because he still gets the people in the movie despite the prep time so that's true. hey look y'all just be careful out there mm-hmm but yeah, we'll catch you guys next week with the final installment of Surviving Halloween. Y'all have done pretty good on the couch. Yes. Overall. Um, I'm, I'm excited sorry. to see what you did. In the conclusion. Going in on this next one. Hey, at least we didn't put you in Season of the Witch, because. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, look. Yes, thank I'll tell goodness. you this Season of the Witch is goofy, but y'all would not survive that movie. Nope. <laughs> Got a laser, yeah. Got a laser to the face. What the heck is. I don't even want to ask the question on Do you want to watch it? I just want it to be over. Do you want to uh, watch it? I'm so uh, tired. Uh, an evil witch cult yeah. tries to take over people with ho- people's minds with Halloween masks mm-hmm. through a program TV commercial I, where they I use even, subliminal messaging. The they question. also have clones and robots. Yep. What? I don't. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to know. It's just it's so it's not s- about those chances. Look, it's not even about the context of the movie. It's about. It being called Halloween and them wanting it to be a part of the trilogy. Thank you, my good man. Like, thank you. My all they had man. to do was call it Season of the Witch and it be its own movie, and it's fine. Hey, look, they no. no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the movie's bad, sure, yeah. but like, but it's fine that it's separate from. It is now separate from from Halloween. Oh no, they couldn't do that. They had to get a check. Cool. Yep. Get a check. What? Check in eighty two. What? No. Yeah, you. Yeah. But we'll catch you guys next time with the final installment of Surviving Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And yeah, we're pretty much done for the next. I've done like four times in the last three minutes. This has been Trey. JT Wolf. Crit off. Autumn. Yes, and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. And peace. Bye. Peace. Now, back.